Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and today, um, yes, I'm doing a long video again, and if I don't do another long video within a week's time, best to take a long, hard look at this setup wall. Gee, this setup won't change much, but the rest of my room will, because that's right, in a week's time, I'm giving my room a full-on makeover, but that's probably might stay the same. The Stranger Things might change, but everything else will probably stay the same. Monkey! Anyway, so remember that series I did, where it was drawing in three different pens, um, first pencils, well, I'm going to be doing that again, because I enjoyed that, and you guys didn't, well, you, you did, but I didn't have any subscribers back then, so, but I'm going to be using watercolours, so I'm using my watercolour paper, hang on, Sorry about that interruption. I, my sister just wanted to show me something. So yeah, we're using watercolour paper. So let's just have a look, some, a look at some of these drawings I've done in there before. So I've rated them as well. So that was like a dog inside of a pumpkin with a little pumpkin hat. With me, he looks like a French poodle with a little hat. <laughs> we have... I don't know what that is. It's like a pumpkin and a latte pumpkin spread latte, I guess. This I started colouring, but then I gave up. I got bored. It's like a cat, um, I don't know, a milkshake, I guess you could say. Roasting marshmallow on a campfire with a tent in the back and everything. Uh, we have a snow globe. But, I've once I drew it. It was really ugly and didn't look like Christmas and I f ended up colouring the snow in red so I, in the end I just turned it into like a bloodbath so that's like a horror thing. Then we just got a simple warm and cool colours that got all smudged because the watercolours smudged. And oh Jesus, I forgot I drew that and we have a clown. <laughs> what is that? I think I went a bit wrong there, but I forgot I drew that. Is that everything? That is everything, so let's just find a clean page. Ah, what is wrong with this thing? Dude, hello? Work with me here. I feel like I've barely been doing long videos anymore. I feel like I've been making so many templates. But now I'm doing one again. And in case you're wondering what I'm going to draw, I actually don't know. But I was just looking through all my notebooks for inspiration. And I'm probably going to draw a candy corn. I, that was just a little sketch I did the other day. So let's get on with drawing. Okie dokie, so now I've got the design down, it's rubbish, I don't know how to fill that space. I've got like just sweets. I've got this clown staring at me right now, bro, he's giving me the death Oh, oh my god. So we got some, we got the main candy con here, it's very, very bad, but we just, because this is really rushed, I just want to kind of maybe get it over and done with today. Just got some little sweets, lollipops, ground. So. Now I'm going to tell you what styles I'm going to be colouring in. First of all, using classic felt tips again. Not gel pens. Oh, God, that took too long. Maybe pastels again, possibly. Not Poscas again, that took way too long. Um, so, normal felt tips. Look how magic this is. 
Right, how the hell do I open this? Oh, there we go. I've got something. So, I'm going to go with normal felt tip. Crayons to give it like a childhood touch. And colouring pencils. But they are not enough colouring pencils. So I bought in a little, just a little backup. Just a little. Just a little. And then as I said, watercolours. So we got watercolours, normal felt tips, colouring pens and crayons. That's perfect. So now I quickly, and I mean quickly, there's the ruler. Oh, broken ruler. Draw a line down my masterpiece. Oh yeah, I drew more stuff. I drew thing and an elf on the shelf. And a rainbow and a Wednesday. And that clown, that clown is just giving me the bombastic side of it. Dude, things are getting in my way, no offense, thing. But. Right, there. So let's try to draw that line. You're by Candy Corn, you now have a massive line for you. That's, uh, that's even, definitely. About no, that's definitely not even about there. No, that's not even. This is so annoying. I have to get this evenish. Yeah, orange good. Hey, for my sister, she plays some of the weirdest games. There we go. Lines down the master. And then we just simply, I'm going to use a Posca because I know. Hmm, this should be. Oh, I need to push it a bit. Because I'm, I'm not using the Poscas at all. Might as well give them a bit of use. Felt tip. That can be, well, this can be watercolour. This can be crayon. And then that can be, as I said, colouring pencils. Okay. So let's get first started with the first style, which is going to be, drum roll please, felt tip. So you obviously got the classic colours for the, for the, um, candy corn. Get these out of the way, and there we go. I've got such a bad cold, because I had the flu spray today, and I had an always-facing pain all day. Because they said to me, you had a temperature and at all over the week, and I said no. But I forgot I actually did. So, now I think I'm dying. Uh, anyway, let's get on with felt tips. Okay, felt tips done, and with that last blue, I'm so glad it came out like that, because I, I don't want to colour the whole thing, I just want it like, like it's floating, obviously. Well, not floating, that's not the sky, it's just a blue background, but I want it to be like all rough and textury. So that's that done. I don't like that I did yellow there, but I didn't know what else to do. So that's the felt tip. Now I think I'm going to do watercolour last. We will go with crayon.
Okay, now we got felt tip and crayon. Oh, that clown again, bro. Just imagine that. I was flipping a piece of paper and I was just saying that. But yeah, now we got the crayon and felt tip done. We're gonna move on to colouring pencil. Dude, I'm doing this so quickly. That crayon thing, I knew it will go fast, but I didn't expect it to go that fast. So now on to open there we go her uh, ends i'm gonna grab one of these and it's just gonna fall everywhere that's not good how about i have an idea oh i'm organizing this while you guys are still sat here watching i feel so bad right get that that oh that doesn't fit oh well what if i just move that up move that up no oh come on honey think <gasps> yes put that over there ouch jesus christ that hurt my thingy i use this as like a tripod so I keep that there move that all the way over there open sesame this and I'm just going to have to film from another angle this time, instead of that side. So can't have some limited space that I have. I'm very cramped here. And instead of grabbing here like I'm used to, I have to grab there now. I don't like that. Anyway, let's get on to pencil. Okay, so now the pencils are done. We have one final style, which is watercolour. And then it will be done. So I'm just going to pop that down here. Oh, Jesus, my God, it just fell off my chest. That did hurt me. Oh, wait, I need that. I have watercolours. Let's have one of these watercolours and then have a look at the other things' watercolours. See which one has the right colours. Okay, you can still sort of see me. So this one has all the right colours so far. But does the other one have a, a higher choice? Like a dark and a light yellow, for example. So I can blend. Like, oh, this one has three yellows. But I've used that one, so it's quite messy. This one's got that. This that one got that's got that. It's a tough decision. But, I'm going to have to go with the big one. So, I'm going to get these out. Close this up. Got time. Out. And I'll be right back. I just have to go get I'm back and this is my sister's cup of water. She said I could use it, so that's why that's that cup. But, anyway... These are the watercolours I will be using. I probably won't blend because a lot of those colours are messy. But this is it so far. So let's get into the last one.
and then the whole thing is done. And sorry I paused during that. Oh, that was a big screen. <laughs> sorry I paused during that, by the way. Um, because my iPad was going to die, so I had to go get a charger. But I, um, I can. Now, with that watercolour thing, I kind of smeared up the lollipops, so now it looks really bad. And it, I didn't give off the blue effect of there being that white left, so I tried to do. Because I figured out an effect, but I'd already done half of it fully. So I just decided to do the whole thing in in um, a light blue, and then like go over with a dark blue. I think it would get the same effect, but it did not. But I'm going to show you the whole thing now. Three, two, one. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Now all I have to do is get a black sharpie and do what I'm not good at, line work. But I'm not going to speed this up because the line work really doesn't take long. So I can talk to you guys, which you probably do not, I'm not excited about, but I am. Because I've done enough just sitting here. And honestly, when it gets to it, I do not want to edit anymore. Because I haven't edited a video in ages, I always use templates now. Okie dokie. Pump, 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 pump. I love using these buskers. Oops! Uh, rubber. <laughs> you just get rid of that a little bit there. Oopsie daisies. I'm not getting the watercolours back out now. No way, Jose. Oh, this lollipop is just sort of yelling for help. Oh, watercolours and the pen. Oh, then they're not friends. They really don't like each other. And now it just looks like a microphone. What have I done? Dude, there's just a... There's just a microphone chilling mid-air. No need to worry. Line work's fun, but at the same time, it really isn't fun. In case you don't know what I mean by line work, because I keep saying it, it's just where you go around with like a fine line or pop black posca or something like that, and just go around all the lines so you can see them clearly. Because when you colour, obviously sometimes you colour over the lines without meaning to. Not I do occasionally, but not too much. But still lining just gives it that extra outburst sometimes it ruins your art piece sometimes it makes it better sometimes it just doesn't do anything it just sort of but yeah the whole point of it is for like the color to pop almost if you know what i mean is that everything yes except the line line itself Ooh. My sister is doing something that she's not supposed to be doing. Actually, no, I've got one more piece of lining to do here. By the way, when I was doing the crayon one, I just randomly pointed the crayon at you guys and started talking, but all you could hear was squeaks. So, what I was saying is that I was colouring with it so much it got so super blunt. You can barely see the eyes anymore, and the mouth is just all messed up, but this is the final product. I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze, and no I'm not. <laughs> So yeah, this is the final effect. We have um, felt tip, 
crayon, watercolours and pencil. So that is the main actual candy con and then everything around that too. Not bad. Especially not for a video that wasn't that long and to fit it all into one of uh, the multiple episodes. So see you guys in the next long video, which probably will be for another twenty months.